This is the TD40E Extra Crawler Dozer. It's the largest machine in the range of the nine track type tractors marketed by the Dresta Company Limited and its subsidiaries Dresta Asia Pacific and Dresta North America. This 60 ton plus steel giant is built at Huta Stolowa Wola in Poland, which is the factory better known worldwide under the abbreviation of HSW. Today, HSW has over 50 years experience in the manufacturing of construction equipment in cooperation with international harvester and dresser to manufacture crawler dozers and wheel loaders. Since then, the machines produced by HSW have undergone many stages of modernization in order to adapt them to the current technical and market requirements. And today, they have little resemblance to the first licensed models. Today, as in the past, they are valued worldwide for their high performance, high quality and reliability, as well as their simple design which promotes easy control and daily maintenance, along with fast problem diagnosis and troubleshooting. Everything begins here, in the design office. By means of dedicated computer software, the engineers design and develop various models of crawler tractors, pipe layers, wheel loaders, backhoe loaders and other construction equipment produced by HSW. In addition to designing basic models and standard attachments, the engineering department designs special equipment that allows the machines to operate in low and high temperatures, in the desert or on landfill sites. The advantage of the Dresta machines is that these special attachments are designed and manufactured by us and not by an external supplier. Now we move from the design office to the sheet metal burning facility where upper structure parts are made such as cabs, tanks, platforms etc. Industrial laser cutters can cut out parts from metal sheets with tolerance of up to 0.2 of a millimetre. Another type of burning device used in the production of upper structure elements is a plasma cutting machine. The plasma cutter can cut parts from 3 to 25 millimetres in thickness. Laser or plasma cutting of sheet metal is precise, fast and economical. The next department is equipped with CNC machine tools that enable the boring of track frames, rear frames, equaliser bars and push arms. Now we switch to welding. Here the crawler dozer mainframe is being welded in a rotary fixture. It consists of the rear frame, machined previously on the CNC machine tool, the two plasma cut sidewalls form the front of the machine, the equaliser bar cross tunnel provides the mounting base for, among others, the track system. Another department manufactures drivetrain components such as torque converters, transmissions, steering drives and final drives. After washing and drying, the machine components and sub-assemblies are transported to the painting booth for priming. Then, 
After drying, the parts go into the painting booth for the final coating of high quality anti-wear resistant polyurethane paint. The final assembly area puts all the components together. In order to mount the crawler or pipe layer pivot shafts in the main frame, the frame bores require heating up to the temperature of 250 degrees Celsius. The assembly operation must be carried out accurately and quickly. When the metal cools down, the pivot shaft is firmly locked in the rear frame. Next, the following components are mounted in the frame. The steering drive, the transmission, the final drives, the multi-unit cooling system, the engine with a torque converter. All these basic units are of modular design, which facilitates their installation and quickens their servicing. Before beginning the installation, the components are subjected to quality and performance tests. Any components from outside suppliers are thoroughly inspected upon arrival at the plant. Complete documentation at all stages of the machine assembly is done and is written down in the machine logbook and must obtain the approval of the quality department. All the diesel engines in the crawler dozers are purchased by Dresta from the world-renowned Cummins engine. In this case, the size of the TD40E extra model engine is 19 litres and is rated at 560 horsepower. Now it's time for the ergonomic operator platform. Mounted on the platform are the operator seat, the steering control and the blade and ripper control system. When the operator platform is installed, the fuel tank and the rear operator platform are mounted. Next, the blade lift cylinders are then mounted at the front of the main frame. Let's get down a little lower now. The assembly team is mounting the severe duty track frames that form the main part of the undercarriage system. The assembled track chains are then wound around the track frame. The track chains are connected by a special split master link designed to facilitate quick and easy splitting of the chain. Each of the Dresda crawler dozers are tested. The pressure in the steering control is checked on a special stand during static testing. The tests are carried out for all the gears in order to perform the final check and adjustment of the machine. A separate test stand is used to check the machine for leaks. And now it's time for finishing. The worker is mounting the engine and operator platform covers that make up the final layout of the upper structure. When the machine is nearly ready, and depending upon the customer's order, the attachments such as the blade and or the ripper are mounted. The blade is installed mainly for field testing and will be disassembled for shipping. The final step is the assembly of the comfortable six-sided operator's cab and the two post ROPs. In addition to the normal quality and performance test during production, the machines are tested at random on the testing grounds.
all the systems are checked for functioning in conditions similar to those that the machines can meet in the field. When the installation is completed and the operational tests are concluded, the crawler goes into the paint shop where it is painted and decaled with the company's logo, model name, as well as servicing and warning plates. The completed dozer is loaded onto a trailer or railway car with its blade disassembled and with other attachments and it sets off from the plant and goes directly to the customer or to the port for shipment.